and welcome back. Long time no see. Um, I took a little bit of a hiatus because mental health is very important and I've been playing video games. I got a Nintendo Switch so I've been playing like Mario Kart with people and other games on there. So yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> This is my fall slash autumn TBR. I have some ebooks I want to read, which are e arcs. If you don't know what an e arc is, it's an electronic advanced reader's copy. I have four of those I want to get to, and then I have like five physical books. And there is kind of a theme going on, but not fully a theme. You'll you'll see. So the first book I want to read is Sarah J. Mass's House of Earth and Blood, which is the first book in the Crescent series. Crescent City series. There's cat floof. I don't really know what this is about. I know I needed to buy it. And the end pages are really beautiful. Was there something on the cover? Oh, yeah, and there's a little crescent moon. But I'm excited to read this. And then the second book I would like to read is The Whisper Man by Alex North. Um, this was really big last year, around this time of year, and I thought I'd pick it up and try it out. I do have, I believe, an arc of their other book. I forget what it's called. I think I have the arc of it. I will post the picture here if I do. Um, this is a thriller mystery. I don't know what it's about because I usually go into these pretty blind. And if I do have the arc of this, I will be reading the other arc as well. And then I have three more books. There are physical copies. The other books I want to read are You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This one is supposed to be a hard hitting YA contemporary. So it deals with twins that are Israeli and one is diagnosed with Huntington's disease and the other one is not. And then the other one is Wicked Autumn by G.M. Mallier. Um, this is the first in a series. Oh, the Max Tudor series. Um, it's supposed to be really good. I bought it, I think, last year and wanted to read it and never got to it. It's kind of like a cozy mystery in a way. So there's that one. And then the last physical book I want to read is a bind up of the Fear Street Saga The Betrayal by R.L. Stein. This has The Betrayal, The Secret, and The Burning in it which is about witches and it takes place in like when it was written modern day time and then also back in like the 1600s. So, right? 1600s? 1900s. It takes place in the 1900s and present day, which is probably in the, uh, let's say, 90s. And then I have the four arcs I want to read. Um, the first one I've already started, and I will be posting pictures here of each one, um, is The Other People by CJ Tudor. Um, she also wrote The Chalk Man, which I read, I think, last year. And it was really good. I enjoyed The Chalk Man. It was her first book. And since then she's written two. So I had an e-arc of this one. And I thought I'd give it a go. And then the next one I want to read is Little Creeping Things by Chelsea Ishazo. Ishazo? Sorry. Um, I will put a picture of the thing here. Um, I don't really know what's about. I pretty much go into thrillers blind, like I said. So the next one I want to get to is Dead to Her by Sarah Penborough. 
to be here. It's kind of like a sequel, sequel to Behind Her Eyes, which I read, I want to say last fall or summer. And it was really good. I enjoyed it. I'm excited that there was a sequel because the last Sarah Penborough book I tried to read, I didn't even bother getting very far into. And then the last one I want to read is The Furies by Katie Lowe. Um, it's supposed to be like the craft kind of, but a novel version of it, which I'm skeptical about because The Craft is one of my favorite movies and hopefully it lives up to the hype because it was pretty hyped I think last fall. Um, I will be linking all these books down below for you and I also have <clears throat> all of my Goodreads and everything linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!